All right, so here's our driveway. It's down here to the back garage. What I want to do is dig out this area right here behind the, the bobcat and you can see it's pretty mostly dug out here. So we're going to build a little mini retaining wall here. And then at some point I want to put a roof over it. A roof probably from like up here, here with posts going down. Right now I'm going to work on digging out this area right here. Last time, hit 40 and a half. There we go. So now, all right, we are about ready to start dropping stones in here. I just got to dig a little bit less. I can have the back out here just to kind of do some adjustments as we go along. All right, so I just added a few inches and leveled this out. Um, so we can finish, so we just drop a bunch of stones here, but first it's lunchtime, and a nice ice cold drink. Let's start putting the rest of the stones in. So this has to curve around here.
So we are going to do some cement mixing and fill these holes. To make concrete you need Portland cement, which we got here. You need sand and you need gravel. So it's usually one part Portland cement, two parts sand, and three parts gravel and then mix with water. One of these. We did two sand already and now three gravel. No, hold it tight. Okay. But you can see our holes were not perfect, but this will be fine. It will easily carry the weight. There we go. Is that your going. Yep. We got our mounting plates. These have a bolt in the bottom. So we need to drill at the bottom of the four by four. All 
I need some new spade bits. These are very dull. So the cutting edge of this the bit is rounded. Let's see if we can sharpen that. Because we're not getting anywhere. That looks a lot straighter. That's good. Let's see if it cuts better now. Oh yeah, look at that. Much better. There, I think that's good. No, so we drilled the hole underneath, set it in there, and now we are, and we leveled it with these two little guide sticks. And James is putting the last little nail on the bottom. Good job. Alright, this is a 212 roof. See how that looks. That's what we're aiming for. That's good. Now we can cut these 6x6 posts down to their correct height for the uh, rafters. So this is about the height of the rafters. So next we have to do the bird's mouth, etc. And then we gotta put a beam up here. So I gotta poke some holes to the roof because the beam has to go on this outside garage wall. So the beams are gonna be resting right on this top plate of the wall right there. And it'll go right tight against the rafter. And which also matches with a stud right down there. Okay, so we just cut the four holes. This is going for the six by six. This is that will be supporting the beam that will be supporting the rafters.
more to go. So now we're marking up, what's this? Oh, this is underneath the rafters. Yeah. So the end two is by two by six, so we can put a two by six, what's that called, a face, fascia, fascia, fascia board. board. Yep. And then that's angled so that it's level. And then also the bird's mouth somewhere. So he measures off the, this line right here to 30 inches. And then a piece from earlier. That's our template for the bird's mouth. Here you can see it in action. See, so that sits like that. This is cut like this, so it's straight for our two by six. And this is tapered so we can get our two by six and we don't, it's not long. Alright, we're putting up the beam on the roof that's holding the, the joist on that side. Okay, so right now I am working on doing the rafters. Um, my dad already did this bird's mouth and then the end, but we need to put one more further up this, these two by eights that will rest on that beam that's up there. So let's get at it. 209 and a quarter. So I grab on the furthest out point there. 209 and a quarter. And like that, like that. And now we cut that out. There. One done. Many, many more to go. All right, we got most of the rafters up. So now I'm gonna tack them or nail them on. Just gotta finish the rafters into the roof. So I gotta do some scabbing there. So I just wanna show you something. Sometimes, sometimes you find out something with a tool that you kind of wish you had known earlier. So this nailer comes with this bumper on it, and that's to protect the wood. Um, I didn't even clue in, I just thought maybe it grips better when you're doing angles, but look at the difference. So I just go on an angle, 45, look at the nails. Not in very good at all. Look at that, nice, snug, tight, a hundred times better. All right, so next I'm going to scab in scavenge the rest of the roof. The way I set these rafters up was that if I offset a piece here, it's going to be leaning right on the rafter inside the garage. Perfect. Okay, so I know when I hit here, this is about the length of the angle, which is 13. And then this will be the angle I got cut off. All right, this is it for day two. We got the joist on, except for the last ones I'm cutting them a bit thinner because I want the fascia to match the existing building which is two by six um, I can put the end piece on and then plywood and shingles and then at least it'll be dry for the winter so that's the goal hopefully another probably two more days so today we are going to we're gonna finish the framing and then we're going to hopefully get some of the sheathing on this and I have a helper here today
So what we are doing now is we are scissoring these boards in. We're gluing, screwing, and then nailing. Making sure they're flush, same angle as the current rafter. So basically that's kind of getting us up to that shingle right there. And we are gluing. This is just peel. Even with the roof, I'm putting screws in to really pull them together. That's not where the strength is, but it's pulling it together so the glue is nice and tight. And then we're putting a bunch of nails in for strength. So we are starting to shingle. So we just put on all the fascia and now we are moving the trough from the old part of the garage to the new part. So now that we have the carport built, we have all that wood right there on the driveway and we moved some of it under the deck for our winter burning. We've got probably about four cords here, but the rest we can move back underneath the carport so it seasons better than just laying in a big heap. Let's get at it. All right, let's move our trailer. finished product some months later carport is in use Lots of firewood for the winter drawing and harvesting water our garden. Hope this video was useful and that you enjoyed watching us make this garage carport and we will see you on the next one.